Welcome to Share Greens, the all-inclusive golf channel. Your one-stop guide for everything golf. So welcome to our little mini-series on wedge play, chipping, chipping into the wind. Um, we'll decide on what content to do later because we're very new at this. So let's talk about the 52 degree wedge or any wedge in general really. How do we how do we, how do we manipulate the club face to make up shots? Especially when we're at these awesome practice facilities at La Manga Club in Mercia, Spain. How do we utilize our time? How do we have fun with it? What kind of shot would we create if we open the club face up? What kind of shot would we create if we close the club face? How about adjusting the club face for impact? Have you tried this out yourself? It's a great way to get these as your friends. Mwah. Now I've got this PXG 52 degree sugar daddy bad boy. It's, it's worn to hell because it's my practice club. So let's talk about a high shot. So what would I do for a high shot? Now remember, this is just fun. Play around with it and you'll find out what kind of shot you like and what you're good at and what you're not good at or what you've got to work on. So for a high shot, I, as, as a general rule of thumb, a chip shot should be played from the middle of your stance with about 60% of the weight on your front, on your lead leg, and 40% on, on, your, on your right leg. So, but for a high shot, I, I normally just go 50-50, and instead of being the ball being here, I, I move it further forward, uh, I open the club face up and the sensation that I get, and you're probably saying, hey Matt, use your right hand. Haha, <laughs> you can't. So the sensation with my left hand is really controlled swing, and I try to feel like my the logo of my glove points to the sky. I, I kind of like keep it up as long as I can. So this will keep the club face open as long as possible. So we should pop up a nice little shot. So let's give this a go. So remember, wait, 50-50, top face open, keep the logo as open as possible. <laughs> Not bad. So, how about if we close the club face down? What would happen? Would we have more spin? Less spin, higher, lower. I'm going for lower. So, get a ball ready. Technique for a low shot for me. Now this is my my personal uh, preference. Technique for this low shot. I I push the ball back further in my stance. So it's almost almost like it's on the inside of my my right heel. I have about 60% weight on my lead foot, same as a normal chip shot. But I just try to feel like uh, a light, nice controlled swing, but my glove points to the target as long as possible. Almost like a hold off shot. And this will keep it really low. So, move this. So let's give this a go. So, remember 60 40, hold the glove to the flag as long as possible. Not bad, so it had a lot more run on it. Okay, so let's try a draw, draw shot with a wedge. Now normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm, again, we're having fun. For a draw shot, at the point of impact, we need to close the club face and swing slightly outwards. So let's give this a go. Weight again, normal, 60-40. So ball back in the start, it closes the club face down at impact. Not bad. So, it's really windy today, and we haven't talked about one very important factor. That is the wind. Now when chipping into the wind, the ball is going to be affected, depending on the height you throw the chip shot at. So, for example, the high chip shot, the wind is going to affect it a lot more 
than if you keep it closer to the ground. So let's throw this away. Let's pick up a nine iron and we'll keep this as low as possible and it'll be more consistent. So nine iron, exactly the same as you would with a normal wedge. Weight slightly further forward. Slow and controlled swing. And it just runs out like that. Now this will also be more consistent for miss hits and it'll be more consistent for spin. So next time you're chipping into the wind, club, pick up a nine iron or an eight iron and keep it low. This is Matt from Share Greens coming from Sunny La Manga Club, Spain, signing out. If you like this type of content and you want to see more, smash that like button and hit that subscribe and we'll try and make some cool content for you. Adios amigos.